Operation T Snatcher. That, that's a significantly better name than my shitty one. And I still don't have enough resources here, do I? No, I think I need to upgrade this port. The level 4 ports. Okay, build these ports as well. How long is that port going to take? 17th of January. Okay, actually not too long. Less than a month. And that should be around the time when we'll actually have our political power to fight the British. Sure, Britain, you want to send me the volunteers? That's fine. Oh, British I am. You just made a colony. That's actually good, because if they made a, if they made like a satellite state, that just means uh, there's going to be no troops here. So January 30th. Roughly a month from now, maybe the invasion can actually happen. We will see. Hopefully, you know, that's the plan at least at the moment. Uh, we need that resource extraction rate. Uh, let's get some more oil. Are we fine on rubber? Like, I don't... Yeah, no, we're fine on rubber, which is actually surprising. I don't know where we're actually getting it from. Oh, probably from Vietnam, actually. So... If we can uh, get, if we can get to um, the Black Sea or the Ural Sea, I should say, then all these troops down here in Central Asia should basically not have enough resources to uh, to continue to fight. Okay. You, uh, Sweden is no longer giving us lend lease. That's absolutely fine. I'm not too worried about that. Can we fight over this way now? Yeah, no, I think I did give the Soviets too much time just to, uh, sit back and do nothing. Like, we really should be sending wave after wave of Japanese men into, uh, Siberia. To really try to, uh, push them out. But there's a l I don't know, there's actually one big province, surprisingly enough. Okay, so they're trying to attack the, uh, the Russians there. That's a lot of troops actually up here in the north, surprisingly. guys come in from this direction but it's like Central Asia should fall like relatively soon from now yeah, you guys stop attacking to get some morale back yeah you should definitely be able to push into there kick these guys out of the province these guys should fall fantastic they immediately have to retreat because uh, they don't have a uh, any organization. Fantastic. No, I want one of you guys to actually take perm. Like an actual Russian city. So that's good. Uh, we got eight British troops over here ready to help us out. Of course, as you know, we're about to declare war on the British. But that basically means there's going to be eight divisions there that aren't going to really do anything. Uh, your... Oh, you should be spread out like that. That's fine. So, Purple, your invasion is going to be take over southern Thailand. Yep. While Teal, your invasion is going to be to take over here and push into uh, Burma. Kind of like that. That's your objective for now. So, why are you not happy about it? Why are you not happy? Non-position? Okay, well, that's fair. There's actually a lot of troops over here. More than I would have expected. Why are you not all going to these provinces across, you know, the entirety of the front line you got here? You gotta be in, like, every single province. I don't know if you know that or not. There's actually, like, a lot of British troops down here in Siam. Like, they are ready for a fight. Which is probably bad for us, but... You know, we got these guys here who are ready for an operation to attack into Australia. And what's the coast like? Friendly ships. I don't know if... Does friendly ships count, um... British ships? Or are they just considered neutral? I think they might just consider neutral. So I actually don't know how many British ships are around here. It could be a lot. It could be, like, the entirety of the, uh... The British Navy. We will find out. Like, I think our Navy is roughly the same size as the British. 
294 ships. That's I am. Okay, no, they do have more ships than we do, as well as more planes. Got a lot of planes over here. A lot of plane, planes over there. These planes aren't doing anything. So yeah, you guys go support those guys. And again, there's basically no airports whatsoever in the uh, Siberia, so these guys have no air support. And there's not much we can really do to help them. Okay, Yellow, are you on aggressive? No, you're not. So why are you pushing out so insanely far? I really feel like you need to fall back just to not get completely engulfed. See if we can try to push our way over there. Try to fight that cavalry unit. So we've taken Perm, which is a good uh, start. You guys are retreating. Apparently, actually, they're about to take Perm back, which is not great. And we're very, very, very close. Take this province. And I think that should cut off all these guys from supplies. Because I don't see any cities in this area. And this, they can't transport supplies from here to here. As much as that would make sense to transport uh, supplies over the Ural Sea, as far as I know, they just can't do it. So if you take over this province, then they should not be able to send any supplies over. You guys all are here, and then you have these five. We actually don't need five, we only need four. I mean, if you want to push down south, I guess that's fine, but... these I, I'm pretty sure these guys will start running out of supplies. Yeah, oh, they're already on negative 33, negative 33. Like, they immediately had no more supplies to kind of continue their operations. Which is fantastic. All these Soviet troops are now basically just dead. There's there's no way they can uh, stop us. Which will mean good things so we can move all the blue over to the actual front lines. Yellow, absolutely stop attacking. I think yellow is very much in just a hold our terror. Where the fuck are you guys? Where the fuck are you going? Pause. You go here to stop him from moving. You go to this province. Yeah, you're also going there? Nope, I want to keep going there. And yeah, this is just... Uh, hold your ground. And, uh... Yeah, we, we finished our Costa's Belly, and I think we do want to just attack the British right away. I mean, there are a ton of British troops on this front line, but I think they're mostly just going to try to throw themselves at our troops and just die. So yeah, let's do it. Uh, Britain, gonna declare war, conquer, call my allies. Okay, all of my allies have accepted the war against the British Empire. But now we have to wait for the British to call in all of their allies. Okay, there's actually a big British fleet here. Uh... Okay, we don't need to be here. I still don't know how to actually, um... Deselect ones. Okay, they have planes. Well, hopefully we can actually beat the British. I've always been bad at uh, naval invasions in these games, or, you know, the navy, uh, operations. They've already sank, sh uh, seven of my ships. And I haven't sunk any of theirs yet. So are we at war with everybody now? We are. So I think you can basically do all of your... Um, or at least do like a handful of your naval invasions. Oh, there's a hundred in the... a lot of British ships there. Well, we lost a bunch of uh, defeats. Eight undamaged... We lost a bunch of boats, and they lost nothing. Fantastic. Uh, they're apparently going to re-engage here. Did any of my troops actually, like, go, though? Gulf of Thailand.
Okay, Nepal's now apparently our enemy. Uh, South China Sea. Okay. This fleet also has to, uh, no, stop. Oh, they're retreating for some reason. Okay. Do any, are any of our fleets doing nothing at all? You're engaged in combat. You're also engaged in combat. Or transport ships. But why can't you go? Way to Malacca. But I don't understand why that means that you can't go. Okay, we're about to move we're about to move into Darland. But I still don't know why these guys can't invade. These guys are invading, okay. So we have two invasions going on in Australia, that's fine. The United States have actually managed to declare war and uh, move troops into uh the Philippines. I mean, it took him a long time to do it, but... I feel like I have fleets doing nothing. You guys are not doing anything. I feel like I've already lost like, a ton of ships. Yeah, so I've, I've read that one. Oh, were they not? Oh, I don't think they were involved in the war. Oh, they didn't get called into the war. That's why, uh... You know, oh, they've also declared war on Afghanistan. Okay, sure, why not? You guys look like you're doing just fine. Yeah, and you guys really should just, uh... Eventually just die out, I think. Yeah, like, Yellow Army is very, very thin. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're not really doing anything. Have we landed in any of these ports yet? It looks like there's actually nobody in that one port. Fantastic. Good work there, guys. And it looks like we're about to land into uh, Indies. I'm assuming... Uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of a weird situation. No, I don't want you to stop preparing. But if these guys really only have four divisions, then, uh... Will I be doing a British game? Uh, I might for... I can try for the next... Uh, series. I don't know... I, I don't know what mod I'm gonna do next. So we have, we have our, um... Our Man the Guns, uh, campaign with Mexico. And that's like... That's our vanilla campaign. You know, oh yeah, the, uh... The British have soldiers here. I kind of forgot about that, actually. You know, if you guys are not going to be able to invade there, you should just go up all the way up north. Probably not to get sunk, by the way, as well. That'd be definitely useful. Have we landed our way into Darwin yet? Not quite. You guys move out and try to take all of these surrounding provinces. Take over the island of Java. I'm just surprised the British Navy's like all the way over here. And I'm hoping that Afghanistan. Uh, because the British are now going to be very uh, focused on myself. That Afghanistan might actually be able to push in and maybe capitulate the Raj. Uh, do I want to do any of these things? Army training, naval production. Like these don't really, most of these don't do anything. Yeah, this construct, uh, excuse me, construction speed, I guess. Yeah, to be extremely aggressive and try to take every single pro possible province you can. Apparently, the Dominion of, wait, Iceland is a part of 
Who does Britain not control? Apparently they control everybody. Uh, you go here, you go here. Let's take over Java. Uh, we look like we're close to taking over uh, that island. Oh yeah, you guys also need a... This, this guy have no front line, actually. Yeah, that one truck's gonna go all the way over here, but you guys can probably push your way into Australia proper. Uh, I guess you go for air superiority. I don't know what you're actually really going to be able to do. Also, I don't even know where these planes are. You really can't do anything. Okay. Are I getting my boats doing stuff? I mean, they're repairing. I feel like I've lost every single naval engagement. Um, a few destroyers of mine have sunk, another submarine was sunk. Yeah, so apparently my navy's trash. What if I just have all of my ships? Where's Taiwan? There it is. I'm gonna combine these all into one big fleet. Everyone goes here. Well, I'm just going to have one massive fleet. I don't know if that works properly, but... Well, that's what I did in the, the Man of the Guns campaign. Uh, I, cho I made the AI try to restore the Kaiser. And, you know, they're currently in their, like, Civil War thing. Oh, you guys actually landed there. Fantastic. Okay, so Brown... Front line here. All of you deploy there. And delete this front. And then after that, I'm probably going to do like another naval invasion out of here. Uh, naval invasion. And then invade. Uh, where can I invade? I guess invade uh, over there. And I think you four guys should be on that. There you go. I don't know where the other four divisions are then, but. Did you guys get up there yet? No, there's just a handful of British troops uh, in the middle of uh, Japan. Just trying to get over there. Is there not a port in the southern side? Apparently not. Yeah, these Soviet troops are basically just gone. How close are you to... Um... I'm, I'm sure you're still very far. You're 82%. But still, it is, it's better than what we've done in the past. Uh, you guys can go here. You go there. Keep on moving across. Are we considered in control of this area? Not quite yet. But if we take both of these cities, I think... Um, I see, they might just capitulate, like, really quickly. I have no idea. More propaganda against everybody. Hopefully all these troops just don't get sunk by the British Navy or the Australian Navy or a Navy. If they do, that kind of uh, screws up my plans, but... Okay, try to push our way into there. In Afghanistan, like, I'm pretty sure most of the British are focused on me, so, like, they're not even going to deal with, uh, actually, no, Blue should just stay out here and try to push into, uh, Persia. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know where all these troops went. Oh, they're the ones that went to deal with this naval invasion. I see. That actually makes sense. How long do you can actually get?